right, good morning, everyone. We Okay, it is about 1.26 in the morning and we are on our way to Farmhouse. I am so excited, y'all. I am just so excited. I am um, a little tired and that's okay, but we are going to be surrounded by beautiful fabric and, and just lovely people today and I'm so excited to see Sally and the rest of the girls and just, it's going to be a good day, y'all. <laughs> It is, it's 4.52. There's a um, McDonald's across the street, but the lights are off. I thought all McDonald's um, were like 24 hours, but I guess not. Oh, there's a Dunkin' Donuts that says near me. Oh, there's one right in front of me. Alright, got my coffee, and um, I think we've got, let's see what the navigation says, we've got 30 more minutes until we will be at Farmhouse. So I went to farmhouse and um, both like they've got cars blocking off both uh, driveways, you know. So if crazy people like me who's trying to show up at 5:30 in the morning can't bother them, and you really can't blame them for that. It's like a guilty pleasure of mine is um, hash browns from McDonald's. They are so good. I rarely ever have them, but it's a, just it's a guilty pleasure. Anyhow, um, I talked to Kristen who is. Sally's, you'll, you'll see her later. Um, I will introduce you just to Kristen. But Kristen is Sally's daughter-in-law. Now, when she first started working at Farmhouse, she was not, it wasn't like she started working because she was with her daughter-in-law. I don't know if she was dating her son at the time or I don't know how that all got going. I need to ask her about, about it. But um, she has her third daughter. Um, she is just a doll. Like, literally, I thought the kid was a doll the other day on Facebook. I'm scrolling through, and Sally posted a picture of, I was just scrolling. It had this big, beautiful hat on, like, and I was like, she just put a hat on a little doll. And I was like, no, that's, that's a, that's a, that's a human. Amazing how fast your makeup can go when you don't have a baby strapped to you and you're not running after a toddler who's trying to put on her own makeup. Alright, so now I'm going to skip back there and I'm going to change. It's 44 degrees here though. I see, I was thinking, I didn't check the weather so it's my own fault, but I was thinking it was going to be like hot because I remember Georgia being, you know, hot. Please proceed to the highlighted route. Alright. We're going to try to go back to Farmhouse and see what the uh, situation over there is like. It is 625 now, so um, I should be there at 630 and um, yeah, get to see everyone. Can I park that's like completely out of the way? Like you can, you can just block me in. You know, it doesn't matter. Perfect. All 
right, good morning everyone. We are here at Farmhouse and I'm just gonna show you around a little bit. This place, so I haven't been here in like two years and this is even more full than when I remembered it last time. I didn't know that was possible. Um, but I'm just gonna show you some of my favorite things if I can remember where they are. Oh, here's all this silk dupinone. I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of comments for that. Dupin. Oh, that looks familiar. Doesn't that look familiar? Last time I was here, um, no, two times ago, Audrey was like six weeks old or something, and these, I remember getting in one of these things, and there was like a chair or something, so I got in here and I nursed Audrey, but they squeezed them together some more to obviously make some more room for all these lovely fabrics. <laughs> It's crazy how many, it's, it's, it's crazy how many fabrics they have in this little spot. And actually farm, like this whole building is 5,000 square feet and they have it plum full. Are you seeing the organized chaos? We can continue. There's ribbon. There's more ribbon. Here's pretty lace. There's some some more trim like anybody I'm sure when you first start working here it takes a good I don't even know three months to figure out where everything is there's more stuff over here and actually around that corner is where their classroom is um, I took a class from Cindy Foose there um, like three years ago now something like that it was before Audrey was born so, yeah there's farmhouse. So there's their um, like the office area desk over there. Um, there's just fabric everywhere. It is wonderful. Oh, here's the here's some of the buttons. Um, Sally is a sucker for buttons. I can relate. I love buttons. And you can I mean look at all these things. Look at all of these buttons. So many of them. So many of them. I mean, look at all of these things. But wait, there's more. There's all these. These are so, more like novelty buttons. There's more over here. Uh, there's more down here. But wait, there's more over here. Um, and there's probably, yep, some more over here. There's some in coffee uh coffee creamer there's there's some in tackle boxes they're just there's more in coffee creamer they're just everywhere here are like kit bins and here's some more trim there's some more like these are flower trims or something here are books and patterns i mean they've got it all organized it's to a t they have to because they've crammed so much stuff into here. Oh, here's some pretty outfits. Look at that. How pretty is that? Oh, that is gorgeous. Look at that. Good morning. I'll go show you my favorite area. Now, I love all the fabric. Don't get me wrong. I love all the fabric, but the heirloom area is my favorite, my favorite, favorite, favorite. This is the fabric that just like calls my name and it's just like, we could sit on the couch together and spend like 200 hours, you know, doing some hand embroidery or smocking or whatever. This is just like yummy, yummy goodness. It's just like a wonderful blank, to me, it's a wonderful blank canvas for whatever. You're, it's just the imagination runs wild. Like I have nothing against like novelty fabric or anything like that. It has its place, but this stuff is just, mm, there's nothing like it. Do you see how narrow this is? Okay. So these are some of my favorite fabrics. I cannot believe they are just magicians in here. Like these are, oh, here's my flannel that I really like. Here's that super fine, fliss, super fine flannel. Um, this stuff I love. I actually have a tradition going where I take the white and I make that into the take home or like the first photos or whatever of um, both Audrey and Henry have had that. Here's the dotted Swiss. Here is the Batiste. Here is 
here's Swiss flannel. Now Swiss flannel is nice. I some for whatever reason like my super fine flannel a little bit better. Um, but that's okay. Here's the Burmese Burmesima that I'm sure I'm mispronouncing. Oh, I've used that before. That was for Audrey's second birthday. Right there, that pink petal, however you say that word. Um, oh, here's the Neola. Neola. From, I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that too. It's just pretty. It's just a really, really pretty canvas, and you just take it from there. I'm actually doing something with this that I will be releasing hopefully here soon. I'm very excited. Oh my gosh, look at the line! Yeah. Okay. They're taking pictures of their names on the Oh my How are you? I'm sorry, I How are you doing? You scary. How are you doing? And you cold kid. It's a little nippy right now, but it's gonna warm up. Oh my goodness. It's gonna warm up. Where are you in line? Here with my husband. I have my husband. I drive my husband here. Oh, yeah. Hi, how are you? You ready? Never so ready. Hello! Oh my goodness! How are you? All your old lady friends are here. How are you? I'm yeah, wonder. Yeah. Oh, the whole group. The whole group. Oh my gosh! How are you guys? Good. Good. How are you? Good. 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 Are you I see you. I follow your pictures. No. Sorry. I see your pictures and all your clothes are beautiful. Yes. And yeah. your babies are beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. We're so proud you. of you. Hello. Good. Good kid. Yeah. Well, I finally more. got two uh, grandchildren. One little boy, one little girl. Yeah. But so we're just trying to empty the shelves and put new new ideas in. So all of that is up that way. Um, we have a lot. Of <laughs> hey, how are you? Good. How are you? Oh my gosh, this is so fun. <laughs> oh, oh no. How are you? Good. Nice to see you. You okay? Oh my gosh. Oh, good. How are you? Good. Beautiful. Do you need help carrying? Well, see, I wasn't uh, prepared. I, I'm here. Thanks, right. Gary. Well, and you got to think, all of this was in that, was in that, um, was in farmhouse. Listen, I'm trying to figure out what to do with this. I love that stuff. And I'm like buying a ribbon, and I don't know what I'm going to use it for. <laughs> it's so, I it's love just this like piping. Oh, yeah, this like, is perfect. This piece this is, is going to be navy. so cute. Oh, is this navy? I don't think that's navy. Light, light, light navy. navy. It's perfect for boys. Yeah. Thank you. You need a tub? For your, is this for you? It is. <laughs> so I was not expecting to buy anything, but holy moly, the deals are insane. And the whip stitch piping, they're not going to be carrying that anymore. So I gobbled up a bunch of that because I love it. So I'm going to go now and look and see what the other deals are. <laughs> I would have one outfit. It was good. It was this good. Is cute. Did you make this? I did. Well, it's, it's not the best fitting. I'm going to have it strapped to him. Where I get on the And like none of and like none of the squares line up. So don't look too far out. That's okay. Um, oh my god. Oh, you're Sarah. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> oh no! I love your video. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, look at this That's one. Really fun. I know it's not cool. cool. How cool is that? No. It is fun. So what are you shopping for? I am going to be doing some little girl clothes. You're Sarah, like right? You. Yes. <laughs> yeah. it's like, hey, yeah. Yes. I follow you. Oh. I see all your videos. You're you sweet. <laughs> Thank you. I do too. Thank you for all of your help. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate you. it. I don't know how helpful I am, but I just put it out there. I see you with your baby all the time. Hello. <laughs> Good, how are you? Yes, it does. It's not right for our I'll be your people's bins. 
How funny is that? What? These are these are the bins for people. Yes. How funny is and that? If there's an empty one, you put your you name want one? on it. No, I, no, no. <laughs> You're carrying around so much. You want a no, bag? Not, <laughs> not gonna, not gonna get to that not level. <laughs> so where are you <laughs> living now? You should Out, Nashville. Nashville. Yes. Yes. We're gonna put roots down. We're gonna stop moving around. I was gonna say I, we are no here. You are a button and be creative. Button and be creative, and we've got. Hi, middle of May. Middle of May. So go follow them. Oh, if I can do this. I can do this one handed. Yeah, Go follow them on the Instagram. Right. Did you make this? I have a problem. Huh? Sorry, yeah. Charlie. <laughs> no, that's so no funny. he's all good. I know. She's it. like, yeah, I made this. She's like, uh, don't. Look. And nothing matched up. I was wearing Henry, so nothing. Stuff. How, and how did you find Farmhouse? Well, I was interning at Siemens. Okay. And my boss there was like, have you checked this fabric store? There was a fabric store in Orlando. And as I went there, long story short, joined the Saga group. They told me about the farmhouse. Oh, and then and it was like I sense. never went back to yeah. Joanne. And when I remember when you I know? found you on YouTube, yeah, you taught me how to sew. I to so I was like, <laughs> and I remember Chad being deployed, and I was like telling him this girl on YouTube is teaching me how to sew. He was like, what are you talking about? Oh my gosh! And so I and I know. How fun! I remember one of your downhill. videos. You were making a bishop, and it had all. You were in a sewing room that had the, kind of like a china cabinet. You had all your fabrics in there, mm -hmm. and you. Bishop singing up, and I was mm -hmm. like, I don't think she had kids at this point. No, no, but she was ready for the kids, yeah. and that's how you had your daughter that's first. Good to get that's what I'm doing. Like now I have no time to do exactly. it. Exactly. People so now, me message I get from people like, oh, we don't have no one to sew for. I'm like, that's that's the no, perfect, that's perfect time. time. Yeah, do it yeah. now. I'm like, I think it's time to leave. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Anymore. <laughs> So I've been doing a horrible job at vlogging. I've just been chit-chatting with all the ladies and having a wonderful time and I kind of forgot about this whole camera thing. But I, I've got a bunch of goodies from Farmhouse and I'm gonna be doing a giveaway. I think I forgot to mention that on the way up here. I had this idea, I got a couple days ago and I thought, well, of all the people who can't come, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway. Goodness knows I don't need to be getting fabric at these wonderfully discounted prices. So I'm gonna pass along the discount to all of y'all. Well, not all of y'all, y'all. One lucky person will get some of this stuff. And I still have a couple things inside. It's bad. It's really bad. I was like, no, I'm not gonna get anything. And here I am, shoveling out a whole bin. See you, James. Okay. There's your receipt. Thank you, Miss Nice, nice, you. nice to see you guys. Safe travels. Oh, you want to take Thank our picture? Take our picture. Sure. Your dress is so cute. Thank you. Uh -oh. I expected uh -oh. you in your um, stilettos. Oh goodness. Well, okay. Alright. Kind of demanding. Trip. We're in the field trip. She is. Well, I think we're... On Are you going to split the sign too? There you go. Two and two. There we go. Ready? One, two, three. There you go. Yeah. Thank you. Do you need a photographer? Yes. Do you enjoy the sale? <laughs> I'd like to stay all day. I wanted to introduce you guys to Sally. This is Miss Sally. She is the founder and owner of Farmhouse Fabrics. Hello. How many, How many but like 25, 27 years ago? Something like that. I was thinking it was about 30 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> all right. This is Kristen. This is Kristen's actually Sally's daughter-in-law. But you've been working at Farmhouse for like five years? Yes, yes. Five years, and yeah. you've known Sally like your whole life. You're telling me. Yeah, uh, I first met Sally when I was about five, playing t-ball with her son. That's so crazy, that's so crazy. So yes, so this is Kristen. So hey. she is um, somebody you probably have called or, or emailed or whatever. She's kind of, you seem like you're Sally's like right-hand person. Try to be, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Very cool.
-hmm. the end here where all the little holes are poked in it. We're gonna go pan oh. right. I just wanna make sure that okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I am. <laughs> I park that's like completely out of the way. Like I'm you gonna, can, you can just block me in. You know, it doesn't matter. Okay. Jesus. Yes. Straight back. Keep coming. Easy, easy. Keep. Yeah. Sure. Now. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Lord have mercy. Woo! So I got backed in. The uh, the lady behind me was gonna be out here all day, and then she had an emergency. Poor thing at the hospital. So we just uh, team worked it on out. And my battery's of course about to die. Yay! Well, that was fun. That's hilarious. I'm gonna do that again. Yeah. And I'm so <laughs> glad it was you. Like you can handle yeah. that. Kind of I think I am leaving. Just to like go into a corner of this of this lovely store. Oh, thank you for having thank me. Thank you for coming. We loved yeah. having you. I it was wonderful. Coming. And you've picked out something beautiful. Can't wait to see. That's oh, exciting. your new player. project is going to be gorgeous. Yeah, the mm -hmm. colors are beautiful. I'm excited mm -hmm. about it. Yeah. It was nice being able to pick it out in person. I like that. You need to do it more often. I just come and pick your trims mm -hmm. and match your trims and mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. Did I show you our new our new um, pleated? organdy trim and pleated voile trim. Mm -mm. I'm gonna have to show you. Where is that? Come on. Just came in and I don't even know if we have it online yet. Ooh. But this is a lightweight white Italian organdy. Mm -hmm. And so we had it box pleated so that it could go under a trim on both sides and it wouldn't have a direction. And because sometimes the knife pleated, mm -hmm. it goes down in one way and up in the other, but this way... So is this a machine that you have? No, no, we hit, we sent our fabric sent off. and we had it made. And look how pretty it is. And so it'd be a simple little trim. It could go under a ribbon. It could go could like around. Cap sleeve or it can, yes, yeah. yes. And so this is what we call our, we call it graceful voile. It's an ivory color or champagne. Mm -hmm. And so this is a very lightweight and it's cut on the bias. So it has a beautiful, it has a beautiful turn to it. Mm -hmm. I'm very happy about these. These are, these are gorgeous. Sure. So this looks pretty with our champagne Moline laces. Mm -hmm. So it should go in a garment. I appreciate yeah. everything, like all the support. Oh, like, like when you do, it goes, goes both ways. I feel like it's fairly one-sided. I feel like oh. I have the better end of it. Well, we should always feel that okay. way. Okay. Please proceed to the highlighted room. So I am on my way home. I am a little bit tired and a lot like a hot mess, so bear with me, but there are some things that I want to say. So, first of all, big thank you to my husband for watching the kiddos, and I just had the best time today. It was amazing getting to visit Farmhouse again and getting to see all the, all the yummy goodness in person. There's nothing like it. If you were not able to come today, but you had the opportunity, um, please take it. It's an incredible experience. If you love sewing, you are not going to be disappointed. They are just, it's just a gem. And they have an incredible selection of products, but they also have just this customer service that is, that I can't brag about them enough. And that's, I, I love being able to put my name um, and recommend their, um, their store to everybody because it's amazing. I haven't shopped at every single heirloom store, obviously, but before I became loyal to Farmhouse, I, you know, would shop around here and there, and there are some heirloom stores that I would not re recommend at all, and I'm not going to dish the tea. There's no point in that, but, um, yeah, not all customer service is here equal. So, I'm, I'm just, I'm really excited that I was able to come today. I feel like, I just feel like a, like, I fed my soul today. I know that might sound dramatic to some people, but this is something that I am so passionate about, and it's wonderful being around other people who are equally as passionate, and I just, I feel it. Like, the, the, I feel, I hope that everybody has something like this in their lives, because it's just like, it, it makes living worthwhile. Like, that might sound so dramatic, 
but it's like I feel it in my blood and it's just it's a part of me like I have to do it it's not an addiction I can't get away from. I have thought about long and hard whether this is a passion or an addiction but I can't get away from it if life, life gets uh, demanding but um, that's a whole other topic uh, what am I trying to get at it was wonderful getting to see so many of y'all I know you came for the sale and not for me but it was just an added bonus that I got to see so many of y'all because to be frank YouTube is not compensating like they tell you for the views that I have gotten um, which I mean there's more to life than money but it would be nice to be compensated as they advertise for the my time and energy that I put into these videos that being said it is completely like the icing on my cake when you guys take the time out of your day to, to tell me how my videos have inspired you or taught you something or, or you know some number of that combination and it's just amazing when I get the opportunity to meet you in person and it's like it's like I started this what almost three years ago now it's like I'm just a person who decided to film my passion for sewing and put it on the YouTube like there's nothing special about that there's nothing special about what I'm doing you know um, and it's just humbling that so many of you like like my videos and um, I hope that I did farmhouse justice and showing their shop and I hope that I'm not sure if that shop came can't be doing justice through footage uh, but I did my best it's just incredible like I said if you have the opportunity go and seize it I hope that I did Sally and Kristen um, justice in introducing them to y'all I wanted to do all the ladies quite frankly I am kind of not the most charismatic person I'm a little bit awkward in social situations I love them don't get me wrong like I, I leave and I'm like I, I love connecting with everybody I, I all that sort of stuff it's me it's not you um, but I'm a little, I'm just a little awkward and, and, and all that jazz. And it took a, a little bit of me getting used to just talking to a camera. If, if you've never done that, pull out a camera and talk to it. It's a little weird, at least for me at first. And so that was a bit of an adjustment. And today was the first time that I did the whole vlogging, talking to a camera with other people. And, and I, uh, I hope that I was not so awkward. I just wanted to be able to meet them and, and see the, the wonderful people behind you know if you've called them or emailed them or whatever or if you haven't like hopefully it'll break down some of the whatever um, hesitation if you have any hesitation they are just wonderful people so you know they're nice as can be um, and I can't recommend them enough and I feel so fortunate that we have this part like I had this partnership with them and they want to sponsor my videos like how amazing I, I how did I get so lucky <laughs> you know like it just baffles me. Like I said, I'm just a person who decided to, to film what I sew. It's like, oh, it's just so humbling. It's incredible the community that we have. Like, it's not just me, you know? It's not just me making these videos. You guys are watching them. We have built a community together, and I am so excited for the future. Like, I, I see this a long-term thing you know I've gotten so many requests for classes which is which is so humbling like I, I keep saying it, it's so humbling like that's how I feel about this like I don't feel like an expert but um so that being said I keep getting asked about classes whether that's emails or even today I think two or three people asked me I am going through the logistics of that of course I want it to be as cost-effective for you as possible so I'm trying to work out that end of it um, and I'm also I've got things like books and patterns and I just need to find some more time you know I'm in that stage of life where I've got little bitty ones and I absolutely love them but they take a lot of energy and a lot of time so one day you know I will be able to do this full time I'm in it for the long haul I will I don't really have a choice because I feel so passionate like I said it's in me I have no I was born with this like I, I don't know what else. like I wasn't born an expert in it and I don't claim to be an expert now but I was just born with this theme of like I have to do this you know I've thought long and hard whether this is a an addiction or a passion I've come to the conclusion that it's a passion because if life gets demanding I can walk away from it and it's okay and it's like it's you know it's still healthy but I've, I've thought about it um, I'm a little rambling now. What I'm trying to say is I hope I was able to do Farmhouse Justice 
I have loved them for a long time. Way before they started sponsoring me, it has nothing to do with that. I feel so fortunate that they have decided to um, partner up with me. It's just, it's just so humbling. I sound like a broken record. Like I said, I'm not very charismatic and I'm not very good with my words, but I, um, I feel kind of nostalgic and like I just wanted to give, try to express my gratitude for all of this. Um, that I get to do this. I hope that everybody has something like this in their life, like some passion that they just, you live for, you know? If you have something like this in your life, you know what I'm trying to say. You can't put a, like, it's just, it feeds your soul. Um, and it makes you back, to, it like resets you and it makes you who you are and, and like, <laughs> somebody who I'm a little bit rambling, I um, I just had the best time. I just wanted to say thank you. No, I'm not the best with my words. I don't have a voiceover script to read from, so, you know, bear with me on that. But, um, yeah, thank you. Like, thank you. Um, and uh, I am excited to continue this community and see where it takes us. Because, like I said, it's a, it's a two-way street, and I'm just I'm thrilled with, with this whole thing. And, and anywho, I'm just getting all sappy on the YouTubes. <laughs> Crazy, I keep saying this, it's so much more than sewing, that's true, like, it can be therapeutic, it can connect you with others, it can, you know, build memories for your family, it's just, ah, it can feed your soul. So, I hope this video was, you know, inspiring or entertaining or whatever, um, and I appreciate y'all for your support and encouragement and there's a lot of stuff still to be to be done so um i hope that uh you'll stick around for that and i will catch you in the next one thanks guys